Welcome back, Drifters. Um, it's another day, just like every other day that we do around here. So today, what I got going on is pretty simple. It's not really car stuff. So if you came for cars, you can click away. Don't worry. I'm not going to hold it against you. Today, I'm literally just working on my computer. Basically, all of a sudden, it started slowing down and basically just... It was not doing what I needed it to do anymore. It was slowing down when it came to like video editing. It was slowing down when it came to like just trying to do general stuff for school. Like my hard drive is completely full. So I'm upgrading. I'm basically, I'm going and getting a SSD, which is just a solid state hard drive. Um, and then an external hard drive. So the big thing is I got to figure out exactly A, how I'm going to fit it in there um, and B, what size do I need? Like what size am I going to use? Plan is I'm just going to put the operating system on the solid state drive. So after I get done with the solid state drive and I put that in, basically all I'm going to do is transfer my files over to the, uh, the external hard drive. Not that hard. Pretty sure anybody can figure that out. Then after that, I got to do my homework. So guys, Let's go get started on tearing down this computer and putting in that solid state drive. If I can do this, you can too. Trust me. That's right. Okay, guys, are you ready for the next step? We're going to take this puppy, and we're going to take all of our files from in there, and we're going to put them in here. That's about the simplest way I could explain it. But if you're anything like me, and you've got thousands of music and videos and all kinds of crap, you don't want to lose it though because it's important to you, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the files on my disk and I'm going to put them on here before we do the transfer because if we don't do that, there's a chance we might lose everything. We don't want to do that. Another thing, maybe you have more files so you can't just directly transfer everything to the solid state because you don't want to do that. All I want to do is put Windows on the solid state and put all my data here. And then I'll have a free internal hard drive. It'll free up so much space. Hopefully this will work. Let's see what happens. Are you guys ready for the most satisfying sound ever? Oh man, that's good. Now we wait. So yeah, this thing is taking forever. Next step, make sure you disconnect all your wires behind your uh, case, and then pull your baby out of there. Okay guys, so the next thing that you gotta do is you gotta find one of your drive slots, and you're gonna take your hard drive, your new one, um, it's obviously smaller than these big ones, so that's why we ordered this small adapter plate. Okay, so this adapter plate, what it does is it makes it to where the small hard drive will fit on here and will still mount to one of these big size ones. So this is like a three and a half, but this is only a two and a half. So this just basically adapts it to fit. Comes with some screws and stuff, and then we can use these screws to put it all together. It's pretty straightforward. And then after that, you just gotta hook up some wires. You're gonna take a SATA cable, and you're gonna hook it into your motherboard, and you're gonna take your power cable from your uh, power supply, and plug that in, and then it should be good to go for the next step, which is where we're gonna transfer over the operating system. So on my computer, this is the SATA port. There's like six of them. That's what I'm going to plug into, and then I'm going to take the other end and plug into the back of the new hard drive. There we go. Holy cow, that was way harder than it had to be. Okay guys, so now for this one, all you got to do, mount it on here. There's four little screws. You got two on that side, two on that side. And that's basically going to hold this thing in place. And now you can see this is where your cables are going to go. So here you have your SATA, and then here's your power side. So that's what we're gonna hook up next. But before we hook this up, we gotta put it into the PC. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a slot pretty close to where my new SATA cable is. So I'm gonna go down this way, pop that off, and then I'm gonna have it facing out. Well, don't mind my poor wire management. 
Okay. Now I'm just lining up the holes and then we're gonna put some screws in on the other side. Okay, so now we got the new drive in sitting right here. You see the two ports, we're gonna plug in our power and our SATA. Okay, so now we got the uh, power cable and the SATA cable hooked up. So this thing's ready to go, so now we can put the case back together and then start running the program. Okay, so next, this is a program I'll leave a link for in the description. Um, it's pretty simple, but all you do is once it opens it up, these are the three disks that I have in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the one that I wanna clone and click clone this disk. Then I'm gonna select the disk to clone to. We'll pick the Samsung, which is the new one. And then basically if the amount of space in all these is less than what's available on here, we should be good. Okay, so now we have everything uh, basically set up. So this up here is our old disc. This is the new one. So we'll go next. You can schedule it if you want to. We don't want to do that. From here, basically this is just telling us a um, little bit of details, but we just want to make sure that this is the right stuff and it's going onto the right disc and everything's correct, which it is. So then we'll click finish, and then it'll say uh, basically what do you want to do now, yada yada yada. So now that we got this set up, um, we're just going to make sure this is all good. It's going to be called my clone. We'll hit OK. So this is going to take a very long time to do. Once this is done, we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now we got this thing done. We've got all of our files copied over. This is the uh, clone copy here. Um, and then this is our old partitions and everything like that. So this is all done. So now what we need to do is go into our BIOS. So in order to do that, we gotta shut it down. Now we'll go down here, power, and then we'll shut it down. Okay, so now we'll turn it back on. Now this is where you gotta watch and see what it says for you to do. Uh, depending on your computer and those windows, it'll give you a command to push for your BIOS. Okay, on this, I gotta press F2 to get to the BIOS for mine. Um, and then this is, on my computer, this is what mine looks like, okay? So, on here, now what I need to do is basically pick my boot priority. Okay, so this is gonna tell me basically which one I want it to use. So we want this to be the first one because this is our SSD. You can see down in the bottom where it says Samsung SSD. So this will be the second one in line. This is my other hard drive, the one that used to have Windows on it. It still does, but we wanna make sure that it boots from the SSD and not the hard drive. This will make it go a lot faster. Now you might have one that looks like this. It might be different. Mine is an Asus, so you may have a different thing and it might look slightly different, but the key is you wanna to go to your boot. Um, and basically it's just gonna decide which one is uh, the first one that's done. And it's basically just picking the boot priority. So you can see here, it's got the Samsung SSD for the first one. So this is my old hard drive that I cloned it from. And then this is just another spare drive that I've got. So now they're all set up. So now I can go and exit. So to save and exit, you can see here it says press F10. So we wanna make sure we do that. Do we want to save configuration? Yes. So now that we've saved the configuration and changed our BIOS options, now it should be starting from the SSD. Enter your password, and then boom. Now we've got it starting back up. This should be starting from the SSD instead of the regular hard drive. Wow, that is a lot faster. Holy cow, that was fast. So, that thing booted up within seconds compared to what it normally would take. That was a lot faster, holy cow. So now that we have Windows uh, installed on here, to make sure, we set the priority to this, but just to make sure that it is completely running off of this, the operating system, I'm gonna undo this one uh, to make sure that there's no way that this is causing anything to happen, and if it works, then we'll for reformat this one so that way we're not wasting any space. So we're just going to unhook this SATA cable. Boom. And then we'll 
put this back together, turn it on, and see what happens. Okay, so it's all working really good, and now we can go and rehook up our hard drive. Okay, so now we got that hooked back up, and now we'll turn it back on and reformat this drive. All right, we're back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reformat that drive. So we're gonna double check. This should be the one that's four terabytes. Yep, that's the one. So what we're gonna do, blow this up so you can see it. So we're gonna right click, pull this menu up, and then go to format. Once we got that, everything's good. We'll hit start. Hit OK. It says it's in use. Be careful with this because if you are having files that are saved where they shouldn't be, you want to make sure that you got the right stuff on there. So double check before you do this. All right, format complete. We're good. Close. Let's double check. And if we go to our F drive, it is completely empty. Now we got a whole new free hard drive to put storage on. So this is just going to basically become another storage drive for me. Well guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that you guys are able to get your SSDs in there or SDDs or whatever the hell the solid state drives. I hope that it works out really well for you guys. I don't normally do these kinds of videos. I'm not your usual tech guy, okay? So I just happen to have a computer that I built because I needed it for video editing. Well, I built it and put all this stuff together and uh, I learned a lot about computers. Now my channel is normally just vlogs and automotive stuff and things about like my life. It just so happens that today I was working on upgrading my computer. So I know it's not a, a typical vlog that you'd see on my channel, but you know, I figured it was something helpful and if I could help at least one person, it's well worth it. So I hope that this helped you and if it did, Smash that like button, and if this was completely useless to you, dislike it. Either way, I hope you all have a great day, and just remember, keep drifting fun.